Hello there everyone, Koenigi D here, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm here talking about how the Sims 4 arts and crafts stuff has won the community vote. Now, this did come out a couple of days ago, I guess about like 4 or 5 days at this point. However, I wanted to give my own input on the situation, as I do with almost everything here on this channel that has to do with the Sims. I want to let you guys know how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking about. Okay, so... Uh, this is from The Sims VIP. The Sims team has just announced that the winner of the Create a Stuff Pack vote is Arts and Crafts. This stuff pack will focus on content like knitting, sculpting, glass fabrication, and edible art, embroidering, and more. The next vote starts December 23rd, 2019, and that will determine the art style for this theme. Okay, so we've already read, um, or actually we haven't really read this stuff. It's just kind of saying, like, you, the votes have been read, basically kind of what we just read. The results are these. So... As for the themes, we, in order, I guess, collectively with ranks and everything, all the math involved, number one, the most got, most votes for number one was Arts and Craft, second, Happy Haunts, Self Care, Science and Technology, and Fun Tech. I think this might be the exact order I put mine in, not quite sure, I think it literally is. Maybe switch Science and Technology and Fun Tech, switch those around and I think you have my order, um, and I'm not surprised. Um, and then as for the ranking of Arts and Crafts, Knitting, Sculpting, Glass Fabrication, Edible Art, Embroidering. Also, not too surprised. Um, Okay, so I'm talking about this today and I'm making this video because there's a lot of mixed reviews when it comes to this pack and the fact that it won. A lot of people are like, this is terribly boring and we screwed ourselves over when we could have gotten like amazing things like the careers that Happy Haunts were supposed to have or all of the like fun technology related things like an indoor mini golf that Fun Tech was supposed to have. Um, and then on the other side of it, a lot of people are like, this is what The Sims 4 needs. At this point, we all complain about how gameplay is boring and a lot of the gameplay is a one and done kind of thing and arts and crafts is what we need. I am swinging both ways because, I mean, we're going to read the rest of this article and see what it's all about. But, um, when you think of it, like the next vote is for the art style. What kind of art style are we debating with like arts and crafts? We all know it's going to be some rinky dink art rundown, like kind of similar to laundry day rustic style arts and crafts pack like it's it's and it's geared towards elders so on one side i'm like we're kind of like really stuck in a really small niche here but on the other side i'm like that's a good thing because we need things for like elder sims to do and it's not like i don't think like our teenage sims are going to be sitting there on the couch like we're knitt like, knitting knitting um i try to say knitting and whittling together what am i saying knitting our, our teenage sims are not going to be sitting on the couch knitting it's like this is for elder sims it's so like i am on both sides i am leaning more towards the happy side because this is like what i voted for like as i said that's my exact list right there um but you know i mean it would have been cool to see what happy haunts had to do i hope they really uh keep these things into consideration because i love the happy haunt stuff and i don't know if i voted on camera but um when i was reading them to you guys when they first announced it i was like that sounds so cool but we don't need it like we don't need happy haunts right now we have so many supernatural halloween themed packs so if we did that like the art style would have been like repetitive of everything else too um so i mean i'm happy i'll just say i'm happy as for the gameplay ranking the problem with what arts and crafts is going to be now is this pack will only be good if all five of those things right there, right there, are involved. If, like, one of them is gone, maybe edible art can, like, go. But if, like, if they're, like, you know, gonna really focus on knitting and sculpting and then just, like, kind of put embroidering on the back burner, that's not gonna be fun. Like, we need all five of these gameplay objects, like, in the game, which is so weird because stuff packs usually have, like, one or two gameplay objects. So I'm really hoping they don't focus on knitting and especially sculpting. I do not want sculpting. We kind of already have that with, like, the wood whittling tables and whatnot. It's, like, I would have much rather had embroidering and, like, um, edible art. I think that's pretty cool as well. Um, I just hope they really, like, take time to delve in to the um into the skill of whatever knitting or sculpting or arts and crafts is going to be i just hope that they really focus on it um and this says master knitting skill and teach others create sweaters hats gloves and slippers for the whole family have your same purchase patterns to knit toys and stuffed animals that sounds really cool and i am really looking forward to actually like doing that so i hope it is as cool as it sounds i'm sure everything is going to be fine and dandy because at the end of the day the sims always puts out a decent pack moschino stuff i'm talking to you um like you know 
it's gonna be good it's for the most part it's gonna be good we know it we don't have to worry too much about it i'm still excited for it i did vote for it um yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below um I'm excited. I, I want to see what happens. For now, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like. It's a big help, and I will see you guys all again next time. Goodbye. Woo!